now we start uh, single crochet in the second stitch from the hook this stitch we will need later so don't tie it up too much crochet hook in the second pull out the loop one single crochet two single crochet and single crochet until we get to the last stitch we are almost there the last single crochet and before turning on the other side in this stitch we do three single crochets in the same stitch one two three this yarn tail we hide along the way and now you can see the other half loops of the chain and we crochet back single crochet on the other side by hiding this yarn tail two crochets until this very mm, last stitch which we skipped and now we come to the corner remember this one stitch we skipped at the beginning it is like in the very very corner here and in this stitch we will do three single crochet this will be our second corner Our first round is finished, looks like this. Now we start with the second. We put the crochet hook in the first stitch. And now here we can put marker. Place the marker. So this will be our beginning of the round. Round number two, crochet until we get to these turning stitches yeah, in the corner.
around 34 centimeters and the width is around 5 centimeters yeah as you can see now you can a little bit iron steel with iron no, I do slip stitch next okay um, now I do chain two four unfinished double crochet stitches yarn over put in the next stitch yarn over pull through two loops only yarn over put in the next stitch pull through yarn over pull through two loops now we have three loops on the hook again yarn over in the next stitch pull the loop yarn over pull only through two loops you have four stitches now we will do the yarn over and pull through all four stitches this will be the always first element in the row and now we do the upper part we chain three okay and here will be three double crochet in this intersection okay yarn over one two three four and pull through this intersection yarn over and finish double crochet two more times again again so this is our first element ready yarn over three times put in the next stitch we will do four unfinished double crochet pull the loop through yarn over pull only through two loops again yarn over next loop next stitch pull through yarn over pull through now we have like this again yarn over pull through yarn over we have three double crochets and the yarn overs with the previous stitch and the last time okay now we do yarn over but now pull through these four and finish double crochet and this one yarn over we made okay yarn over pull through both loops yarn over pull through the rest of the loops okay now we will do three more double crochet in this intersection of five now we put on the five and I will pull through yarn over one more time Pull through, yeah. 
we have two so yarn over three times put the crochet hook in the next stitch pull a loop yarn over pull through two loops on the hook we have four yarn over next stitch pull the loop through yarn over pull through two loops now we have five loops on the hook yarn over next stitch pull a loop yarn over pull through two loops now we have six loops on the crochet hook again yarn over pull the loop yarn over pull through two loops we have four unfinished double crochets and all together seven loops on the hook yarn over pull the crochet hook through the four unfinished double crochet and one yarn over we made yeah we have three loops on the hook yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through rest of two loops on the hook now we made one double crochet which goes on the top now we will do three more double crochet yarn over pull the crochet hook in this intersection pull a loop yarn over and do your regular double crochet yarn over pull through these loops pull the loop yarn over finish your regular double crochet one more is left yarn over pull through yarn over and finish the regular double crochet so four four and i have finished all my elements i have 28 of them because we have 112 stitches around and 112 stitches divided by four because it takes four stitches one element we have 28 elements yeah 28 elements and now we are at the end of the row we we will do the slip stitch in the top three in the top chain three we had before and we will start a new row by chain three this will count as first double crochet and now three more unfinished double crochet yarn over put in the next stitch pull only through the two loops we don't finish we have two loops on the hook yarn over put in the next stitch pull out the loop yarn over again pull the loop only through two loops on the hook we are left with four yarn over again in the next pull yarn over and pull through both now we have four loops on the hook yarn over pull through four loops on the hook and now chain three again this will count as our first double crochet and we simply do three more double crochet in this intersection intersection usually does four loops wait <laughs> yeah have to be careful so yarn over and pull into the intersection We 
this is how we begin the first element of the row. The next element will be the same for the rest of the row. Yarn over three times, pull the crochet hook in the next stitch, yarn over, uh, pull through two loops, yarn over, put in the next stitch, pull the loop, yarn over, again only through the two loops on the hook, okay? Now we have one, two, three, four, five loops, yarn over, next stitch, yarn over. Now we have six loops left, yarn over, pull through. There we have a, a four unfinished double crochet. Now we will need to pull mm, the loop yarn over and pull uh, through these five. We will include this yarn over here, okay? One, two, three, four, five. We have three loops on the hook and we finish off our double crochet. Okay. This we have our first double crochet and three more double crochet in the intersection. Two. Three. There we go. And the rest will be the same as this one. One, two, three. Put the next stitch. And so on and so on. Again, you do the slip stitch here, chain three, and continue the same way until the desired height. I have 12 rounds. Wait, um, I am joining the last round. I do. Chain one, which we count as the first single crochet because now we were working single crochet rounds. Two. This will be our top edge. And we do two single crochet rounds. I'm at the end of the first row. Make sure you keep the same 112 stitches in the round. So one, two. This was <laughs> our first stitch of a round. Okay, now we start the second round. We can and we do 112 single crochet in the second round. I'm about to finish the second round of the single crochet row, and uh, in this part, I would advise you to iron steam, steam iron the 
back to even it out because in next row we will do the side loops for our handles and because of this pattern um, it's a little bit going diagonal so when we will iron steam we will be able to see exactly where our sides will be because our loop will be four stitches wide and at the moment also the back doesn't look very even and smooth um, i will show you later how it will do after iron so now we go and from inside we work with the iron and so a little bit worked with the iron and now I can definitely say where is those four stitches at the edges one two three four and if you count like in between those loops you will have 52 single crochet I counted so it means my corner will be like this one two three four stitches so I finish the last single crochet and here I will have four sort of round number three <clears throat> in my case I will start with four chain four Keep four stitches one two three four and in the fifth I do single crochet single crochet is done 51 more single crochet and chain four on the other side two single crochet I'm on the second side on the other side and for chain four skip four and single crochet in the next and single crochet till the end of the round you can see how it looks now two loops on either side and 52 in between so 8 8 2 times 52 it's 112 stitches together we are almost finished at the finish line will be one more row single crochet row this is the end in the last row what we do four single crochet in this chain four arch one two three four and now single crochet in the round till the end and on the other side when you come to the other side also uh, four single crochet until end of the row we are at the end of our body of the bag and in the last stitch we do the last slip stitch and we can cut the yarn off and and hide the yarn tail how much is left from my skin of raffia now we will need the back strap rings they could be rings could be different shape could be square doesn't matter so we will do the strap like this not sure, yes. 
Mm. Chain 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 10. Okay. We take our ring, put it inside, ins on the chain, take the bag and attach chain to this loop we made before. Now it will be a little bit uncomfortable knit around, but we will manage. Uh, at the moment, turn the chain with right side in and make slip stitch. in the chain one chain one we don't count as a stitch and now when we turn you have to do 10 single crochet you can do in these loops here but i like better to do this um, when you turn the chain on the other side there will be this little reach here and I will do 10 single crochets in those loops so on the other side uh, we will have this nice chain facing one two Eight, nine, and ten. You see on the other side, it also will have the nice facing side. Now slip stitch in the first single crochet we made chain one and now we will hide the yarn tail as well and we do 10 single crochet again around eight nine and 10 we can do slip stitch in the next stitch and hide the yarn tail and we have our strap ready With the lining it's very easy, you will need two pieces of fabric, it could be from uh, the same color or different material, uh, well we have two because um, since the bag is pretty much like lacy, so I don't want to see the hem at the end, at, on the edges, so from other side it's like double. If you want, you can use inside one color and from outside or contrasting color or the same color as the back, the same color lining, okay? Size wise, one piece I will show you. It's like double the height. And These are the bottoms, so we don't have to do seam on the bottom, so it's a double height. So around one inch on each side will leave for a hem. So if my bag is 
I measured on the top because this is where we'll be attaching. So like almost 34 centimeters. So 36, so yeah, around one inch on both sides. And height, our bag is 33 centimeters. Um, and like one and a half centimeters, 34 and a half. Okay. First of all, what we need to do, we need to take one piece with wrong side in and the other piece with right side in because when we will put one into another uh, so we have uh, from inside and from outside right side facing okay on, on this material is not very visible but it's also very thin so that's why it's good to use double layer and now what we need to do we just do sew it on both sides here very simple only here so easy i saw these two sides and because our bottom is something like uh, the same time the same we fold it this way in the corners yeah looks like this five and a half centimeters like two seven something like this you do stress corner this way through as i finish they look like ears <laughs> so and now we are ready um, one put right side out as you can see now we have this nice corner at the end and this is like the bottom simple huh now one is right inside out other one will leave like this so the hem stays inside and we just put one into another <clears throat> align it nicely nicely be careful take our bag and put it inside already and now what we need to do we will need to sew by hand of course align everything properly on the sides yes uh, but before you put the lining in i forgot but um, you can use these magnetic closures there are two different times one is which you can sew in uh, directly that is no problem uh, the other ones are the magnetic type which actually if you want to use should be better before you put the lining in i forgot but before you put the lining in you just like find the middle where you want the closure to be and put inside the and place the closure but it's not that difficult you see you have this 
clamps and, and somehow you need to find where it will be closing together around the same heights and you just put it through and from this side through this hole I just get the fabric out so it's and the closure is a little bit hidden behind the stitches And just try to get it like um, between, no, between the fabric on the other side as I said that's a little bit cheating you should do it before with these magnetic magnetic closures but for example if you have this which you can sew after you can use this without the problem now I just need to use some surface to tuck them so yeah this is how it looks and after that it's almost invisible if you hide it just right behind the stitches yep so 